The Patriot by Robert Browning. This poem is in the form of a dramatic monologue that comments on the rise and fall of heroes as a result of whimsical crowd mentality. Whimsical means depending on one's whims and fancies. That is, it is erratic. The poem was influenced by Browning's experience of the rise and fall of heroes in Italy's premature struggle to free herself from Austria which lasted from 1841 to 1849. Premature means before its time or too early. The subtitle of the poem, which is not given in the textbook is An Old Story. Therefore, the complete title of the poem is The Patriot and Old Story. The poem has been divided into six stanzas, which are numbered using Roman numbers. This is suggestive of six chapters. The subtitle, An Old Story, underlines the universality of the poem. Universality means that it is applicable everywhere and at all times, which is very true because crowds don't change and leaders also can fail or make mistakes. These things are universal. It can happen everywhere. It can happen anywhere and at any time. Since the poem is in the form of a dramatic monologue, let us find out what a dramatic monologue is. First, the main character is the only one who is talking here. He is narrating his tale, which is one of dramatic rise and fall. Second, this is happening during a specific situation at a critical moment. Third, whatever the character speaks reveals his temperament and character. As we study the poem, we will see all these three points inherent in it. The poem contains a reference to the story of Icarus and Daedalus, which is from Greek mythology. So before we study the poem, it is important for us to go over the story in brief. Daedalus was a master craftsman. He had been imprisoned by King Minos of Crete within the walls of his own invention, that is the labyrinth. The labyrinth is a maze. So, Icarus and Daedalus, father and son, both of them had been imprisoned within the labyrinth by King Minos. They were trapped inside and they were going to die there, die of starvation. So, Daedalus, because he is a master craftsman, he decided that he would make two pairs of wings. He was able to do that. He took the feathers of birds and he stuck them with wax onto a wooden frame. Thus, he was able to make two pairs of wings, one for himself and the other one for his son, Icarus. Using the wings, both the father and son, they flew out of the labyrinth. So, they flew out of captivity into freedom. Now, once they began to fly, Icarus became very happy. He started flying higher and higher. His father cautioned him not to fly too high. Why? Because Icarus had become so ecstatic with the ability to fly that he began flying higher and higher. He forgot his father's warning and he reached for the sun. He began to fly closer and closer to the sun. Now, the moment he went close to the sun, because of the heat of the sun, the wax melted. The feathers immediately came loose and the wings fell off. So, Icarus, he plunged to his death in the sea. Let us understand three words which are used in the poem. The first is shambles gate, which is a place where people would congregate in order to watch public executions. Whenever somebody was executed at that time, the execution would take place at the shambles gate and people would gather over there to watch it. The second is scaffold, which is a raised wooden platform used formerly for the execution of criminals. The third word is myrtle. Myrtle is an evergreen shrub which has glossy aromatic foliage and white flowers followed by purple black oval berries. The word myrtle is significant here because in the very first stanza of the poem, we will see that myrtle flowers were strewn along the path of the patriot.
Now let us read the poem slowly and understand the meaning. It was roses, roses all the way, with myrtle mixed in my path like mad. The house roofs seemed to heave and sway. The church spires flamed, such flags they had, a year ago on this very day. So the patriot is telling us what the situation was like exactly one year ago. That is a year ago on this very day, on this same day. That was the day when the patriot was entering the town and all the people of the town were welcoming him. It was roses, roses all the way. With myrtle mixed in my path like mad. So on the path where the patriot was walking, roses and myrtle flowers, they were strewn in his path. The roses and myrtle flowers, they conveyed the love, the passion that the people felt for him. The myrtle was mixed in his path like mad, which means that the people of the town, they were also mad for the patriot. The house roofs seemed to heave and sway. So people were standing on the rooftops of the houses and they were all jumping up and down because of which it seemed as if the roofs of the houses were heaving and swaying. To heave means to lift itself. To sway means to sway from side to side. The church spires flamed. The tops of the churches, the spires, looked like they had burst into flames. Why? Such flags they had. Because red flags, the flags of victory, had been placed on the churches. So the church spires flamed because of the flaming red flags. A year ago on this very day. So one year ago on this very day, this was the situation when the patriot entered the town. The air broke into a mist with bells. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. Had I said, good folk, mere noise repels, but give me your sun from yonder skies. They had answered, and afterward, what else? The air broke into a mist with bells. This line is a very good example of visual imagery combined with sound imagery. The air broke into a mist, which means the air became misty. When it is misty, at that time, you cannot see clearly. It is a little hazy. It is dreamlike. So the poet is saying that because of the sound of the bells, because of the celebratory atmosphere created, everyone was focused only on enjoying. Everyone was carried away by the heat of the moment, including the patriot. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. People were crowded all over the city and the old walls of the city also seemed to be rocking with the crowd. Even the walls seemed to be crying out along with the crowd. They were all welcoming the patriot. They were all encouraging the patriot. They all wanted a glimpse of him. Everyone wanted to honor him. The excitement was at its peak. At that moment, the patriot says, Had I said, good folk, mere noise repels. If I had said that, look, all of this celebration is wonderful, but it is just mere noise. I am not interested in it. It, is, it repels me. But give me your sun from yonder skies. You see the sun in the sky over there? Give me the sun. At that point, if he had asked for the sun, what would the people have done? Would they have refused? No. They would have willingly given it to him. They had answered and afterward, what else? So they would have willingly given him the sun and after that they would have said, what else do you want? What more that do you want? What more can we do for you? Alack, it was I who leaped at the sun to give it to my loving friends to keep. Not man could do have I left undone. And you see my harvest, what I reap. This very day now, a year is run. So the patriot says, I could have asked the crowd to give me the sun and they would have willingly obliged. But I did not do that. Alack, this is an expression of sadness and surprise. He says, instead of asking them, it was I who leaped at the sun. Like Icarus, I also tried to leap. I also tried to get the sun, to give it to my loving friends to keep. Why did I want the sun? Did I want it for myself? No, I wanted to give it to my loving friends, to the people who were welcoming me. I wanted to give it to them so that they could keep it. 
so here leaping at the sun it is a reference to icarus at the same time it shows us that the patriot he wanted to do something great something wonderful for his people not man could do have i left undone so he says that there is nothing that any man could do which i left undone which means i put in my best efforts i did whatever i could and you see my harvest what i reap but now you can see my harvest or the result of my deeds you can see what i have reaped you can see what i have been rewarded with this very day now a year is done today it is exactly one year after i came into this town and was welcomed in such a loving manner by the people what is the situation exactly one year after the patriot was welcomed into the town he says there is nobody on the house tops now just a palsied few at the window set for the best of the sight is all allow at the shambles gate or better yet by the very scaffold's foot i trow so today there is a total contrast a stark contrast there is nobody on the house tops now so earlier all the people were gathered on the rooftops today there is nobody just a palsied few at the windows set only a few people are sitting at the windows why are they sitting there because they are palsied that is they are paralyzed or they are sick that is why they are there where are the rest of the people all the people who had gathered a year ago to welcome him where are they they are not there they have gone to the place where they will get the best view for the best of the sight is all allow all allow means by common consensus they all agree that the best sight will be available to them at the shambles gate the place where the patriot is going to be executed or better yet even at the shambles gate there are people who would want a front row seat where will they get it by the very scaffold's foot i trow they will get it at the foot of the scaffold at the foot at the bottom of the platform where the patriot is going to be executed i trow means i believe so the patriot says that today the people hate me so much they are thirsting for my blood so much that i believe they would want nothing other than to see me executed so the patriot is being taken to the shambles gate to be executed how is he being taken there i go in the rain and more than needs a rope cuts both my wrists behind and i think by the feel my forehead bleeds for they fling whoever has a mind stones at me for my years misdeeds i go in the rain so it is raining and the patriot is walking in the rain more than needs a rope cuts both my wrists behind so his hands are tied behind his back his wrists are tied behind his back with a rope and the rope has been tied more tightly than needed it is cutting into his wrists it is hurting him and i think by the feel my forehead bleeds because his wrists are tied because of that he cannot feel his forehead he cannot actually reach out and touch his forehead but he can feel that the blood is pouring down his forehead so he says i think by the feel my forehead bleeds for they fling whoever has a mind so whoever wants to whoever feels like it they just fling stones at him stones at me for my years misdeeds because they think that he has done something wrong has he really done any misdeeds no he only wanted the best for his people but he could not fulfill their expectations that is why they are angry with him and they are punishing him thus i entered and thus i go in triumphs people have dropped down dead paid by the world what dost thou o me god might question now instead tis god shall repay i am safer so so the first line thus i entered and thus i go it is an antithesis thus i entered tells us what was the condition when the patriot entered the town a year ago at that time people were cheering for him they were celebrating they loved him so much they could do anything for him and thus i go 
a year later on that very day the situation is totally opposite today he is being taken for his execution and he is facing hatred and violence in triumphs people have dropped down dead so there are many people who have died at the moment of victory or immediately after achieving after enjoying the fruits of whatever they have done for the world so they have been paid by the world what does thou owe me god might question so when such people die and go to heaven and when they ask god for their reward at that time god might say me means i don't need to pay you anything because the world has already paid you but the patriots situation is different he says now instead it is god shall repay i am safer so so the people have not understood me they have not repaid me for what i did for them but it doesn't matter god will repay me god will reward me i have not been rewarded on earth but it does not matter i will be rewarded in heaven by god and he says i am safer so which means i am safe in the bosom of god so with this last paragraph the thoughts of the patriot become very clear to us and we also understand why he is called a patriot because he does not blame anybody even in his final moments even in his final moments he thinks only good of the people therefore he is indeed a patriot